Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez is still the WBA super flyweight champion of the world. No surprises there. Though I think perhaps we were expecting something a little bit more devastating against Israel Gonzalez. I myself was expecting another stoppage victory, eventually grounding him down as he's done so many opponents in his career. A real pressure cooker. The starting at minimum weight, up to flyweight, it was still working. But in this fight against Israel Gonzalez, I think more than any other fight Chocolatito has had at 115 pounds, it has exemplified the fact that this is a weight which is, it, it still should be a bridge too far, but he's still able to win most of the time. Look how much naturally bigger Israel Gonzalez was. So much taller, rangier, has a wider back, and he's 10 years younger to boot. And yet it's Chocolatito who has to fight the young man's fight, relying on stamina, pressure, volume of punches, pinning him to the ropes for the majority of this 12 round fight. And just not really giving him much breathing space. Keeping his combinations going through injecting those defensive measures that so many people miss, dropping the arms to catch the body shots, quickly leaning back while keeping his center of gravity, keeping his balance on point, and then springing right back in and keeping the combinations going. Yes, when you're that aggressive, when you're naturally smaller now frame-wise than pretty much everybody you fight, you're gonna ship punches, but people miss the punches that Gonzalez blocks and evades. That's why he's so effective. If he was just a brawler, like the naysayers said when HBO proclaimed him pound for pound number one, he would have been knocked out a lot more than he has been so far just once against Rung Versailles. Israel Gonzalez was competitive in about four rounds. Maybe you could give him three of them. He tried to fight in bursts and he did get Roman Gonzalez's attention in the fourth with a nice uppercut. Now Roman acknowledged it, nodded at him and then just got right back to it with the non-stop combinations. Another very good win for a guy who it looked like he'd retired, knee injury as well. 33 years of age, a guy who started at minimum weight. You know, it's, it's all very impressive stuff. But more importantly, we now have set up the rematch against the Mexican, Juan Francisco Estrada, who will be the rightful favorite. The way he finished Quadras, he's the fresher man. He's got the ability, he's got the emotional reasons to want to beat Chocolatito. And this fight is probably going to happen. This long awaited rematch, eight years in the making, is going to happen next year, I think, February or March. He will be the favorite, but sometimes how you perform has something to do with how inspired you are. Makes me think of the likes of Roberto Duran. And so Roman Gonzalez, he knows how much will hang on this rematch with Estrada next year. Whether he wins or he doesn't, he will kick his performance up into another gear.